Hi there, welcome to another video. Today we've come out painting uh, plein air with my oils and a huge canvas, the biggest one I've ever tried so far outside. I've had to bring the studio easel. Fortunately, I've been able to leave the Land Rover over there. We've driven up the farm track, which is a bit rough. Um, we had quite a bit of rain, so it was a bit slippy, so good job we had the Land Rover. But anyway, we've got this just over a metre square canvas and we're going to be painting this view over here looking towards Falmouth, which I really quite like. And we're going to give this a go, just slap some paint on and just have a bit of fun today. I'm not going to worry too much about details. Right. Better get moving before the cows come. Whose idea was this? I want that area there to get down here. I want this type of shape. The middle of the canvas is about here. Water there. This bit comes up here. So like that. So it's going to cut right across the middle. I'm going to go higher. And this is going up across here. Like that. It's going to be great fun once we get stuck into it. More like that, I think. A nice big tree coming in like this over here. And some trees over here. We'll mess about with the colours later, but this is just to get something on the canvas. To get it to dry. So let's just get this area filled in as quick as possible. And I'll just, it's like staining the canvas, it'll dry nice and quick then. Yeah, it's the first time on this scale actually on location. Let's just get something filled in for that water and then that will just have a chance to dry while I'll have my coffee. You know, I'm having to use a palette in my hand because uh, I forgot my camera tripod so I'm having to use my French easel to put the camera on. There's always something, I always forget something. And gravity will push this down. Just get something down there. Not too many flies today. This is the blocking so far. Paint heavily thinned with turps, but I do need to cover that big canvas as quick as possible. So I've got the uh, idea, you can see what's going to happen. That's what we're looking at. Just start working into that with thicker paint now. I won't use too much turps now. There we are so far. I'll give you a close up. A bit of thick painting that sky over there which I quite like so I've decided to leave that and that's what the surface looks like flies getting in there already look so a lot thinner than I would normally paint but it's great fun it's quite expressive way of painting I really like it see right up there which we can't really see the sky is a lot more a lot bluer I'm just going to put some in because I think it'd be quite nice yeah okay. just in that corner and then it goes into like a, this haziness then as it comes down. So you've just got that little area there. There we are. Let's just scrape that down a minute. This has just been up in lay the clothes on top of it a bit easier and I want to just sort of use the knife to uh, alter the texture a bit in places and let's get that one in before it disappears so that's right sort of here in this part we can just slow down a little bit we've got the we've got the blocking done I just tend to slow down a little bit see what needs to be done just altered that bit. We're going to have to alter these colours, definitely going to have to alter these colours when we get back to the studio because I can't really see what I'm doing. I've always got an excuse, haven't I?
Okay, I'm going to leave, leave the sky at that uh, point now. We've got this far. That's the sky up to this point, and I think I'm going to leave it for now. And do, obviously we'll have a look at that when we get back in the studio. I'm going to start working on this area of uh, land now. This is Falmouth here, across here, all this area. So we're going to start working on that now. And then hopefully the water and the, well, the greenery below that shouldn't be too bad. And you can see there, that's what we're looking at. That's what we're painting. That's what we're looking at. So we've got lucky with the clouds. If we'd painted that view over there, which is what I was going to do, out towards the sea, not so interested in the clouds. So yeah, great. Good fun so far. I'm just going to chuck that over there. I'm going to have to add some turps into that though because I want to thin that and some medium. Now it has changed. The clouds have built up a bit. It's gone a bit more, not quite as dark as that. So what I'm going to do is just chuck this on and then scrape it back, get some sort of grayness in there. the clouds are coming over, it's, it's altered it quite a lot. Get some of that back in there, I think. I'm making a bit of a mess of this at the moment, I'm not getting a bit lost of where things are. There's a nice little uh, pier, which is fairly dark, runs just to the left of that. Put these in while we're at it. So what I've done is I've just stretched this out a bit that way. So that actually runs along something like that, and then it goes into that uh, brownish coloured wall here. And then that runs along there to meet that bit. Mm, the tide's going out quite quick actually. So, and gives us something like that, you see. There is a lovely orange house. I'm just going to place that in there. So I really like that orange house, and it's roughly there. So I don't want to get too into these uh, details now. I just want to make this look quite random. So what I'll do, I'll, I will knock these out. Let's bring that across a bit more there. So we're just looking to see where something some of these are and then we're gonna like randomly put put in uh, buildings here and there and then we start to we scrape it back and things like that well that's the plan anyway so once we've done this we just sort of sit back stand back have a little uh, look at it and then we can just make adjustments more buildings and trees and things that in that section there. So what I'm doing, I'm just sort of scraping and scratching and getting this uh, an idea of this town. Okay, that can just come across a bit more. That's
once you get something down like this I'm just going to re-establish where the trees and that are it's a bit lighter in here it's just now that's gone already it's changes so much So down here, you've got these nice This area is quite dark in there and cooler I'm going to chuck that in there It's a lot more towards the blue in here So that really comes across a bit more it's a little bit more uh, haphazard this is I'm used to controlling things a little bit more than this I'm having to rush a bit as well because of the, that wind picking up and I'm worried it's going to not the easel flying. where we're at so far uh, we haven't put any boats in I'm just wondering how long, much longer I can do on this because the wind is picking up and it's uh, blowing the canvas around so I've got to be careful it doesn't blow over I don't think I'll do too much more on the trees I'll need to let that dry actually um, but we've got a rough idea of what's happening on there although I'm not sure I like it but uh, it's probably I've lightened the water it still could do with being even lighter I think um, oh there goes my board almost canvas almost went then yeah so we're going to just I'm going to put a few boats in, I think, that's what we're going to do. And then, uh, oh, the canvas is rocking around here, so I'm going to, yeah, put a few boats in. So I've painted this in really thick, not how I normally paint at all. So it's not really gone to, quite to plan. And I'll put some boats in just to give an idea of what they look, where they are, and then I'm going to have to call it there, I think. Whoops, this is really difficult, the wind's picked up. Close up, uh, look at the paint textures on there. I see a lot thicker than passages of paint than what I'd normally paint, but it was good fun though. I really enjoyed just uh, just chucking it on and seeing what happened. The sky worked really well actually. Uh, this is the bit that's the problem, is down here. But I've not really got a chance now to do any more with that because of the, uh, the wind picking up. Although, as I said that, it's just died back. But it's quite gusty so I've left these boats in for the moment I might might scrape them out and uh, reapply that paint when I'm back in the studio but we'll have a think about it when we're inside and we can see the colours better but basically that's what we've got right so that's about it for today the uh, wind has uh, gotten very gusty so I have to keep grabbing hold of the canvas every five minutes because all of a sudden I just sort of relax, start painting and the easel goes that way. So I don't want it falling flat on its face, getting covered in uh, mud and bits and pieces. So that's the view through there. Nice view, I really like it. I like some of the colours of the houses. Have a good look at this when we're back in the studio. It's quite uh, rough and ready at the moment, not how I normally paint at all. So I do need to add things to it, but I'll let it dry first. Hope you enjoyed that one. 
thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel and uh, all the best bye for now